Hey folks, Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. Thanks for coming back to part two. Part one was installing the, uh, the headset on both the frame and on the fork. We got that done, went really well. Um, now we have to actually install the fork. So let's take care of that now. When you buy a brand new fork, the actual steer tube here is gonna be pretty damn long. Why? Because they don't know uh, how long you want it, and of course how um, how big this part, this section of the tube on your frame is, so it has to accommodate that. You're going to have to cut it one way or the other. This is my two cents. As I mentioned before, please give me your opinions. Once you cut this, you're done. You can't put it back on. So here's what that means. Unless your ball's on and you know you like it that length and you don't ever want to change it and you don't ever want to use the fork on another bike, I always leave it a little bit big. You can use spacers to adjust it. I mean, I'm not gonna leave this much on there, so I've got basically like a spear sticking out. In the <laughs> but I try to leave a little extra. Once you commit to a shorter length, you, you're done. So I, I try to lend on the, on the big side. So let's go and take a look at that now. So in order to make sure we do it right, it wouldn't hurt to put the bearings in and everything. So let's kind of pre-fit it and get an idea how we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna drop some grease on the bottom part, on the fork here, and put the bearing in here. I'm, I'm pretty liberal with this, this grease on, in this part of the bike because it's just gonna kind of wear, it's gonna fall with inside the bearings as well. I'm gonna put some more actually on the bearings itself. Okay, so we're in. Let me take a show you this over here. We've got some grease. I've got my little bushing in there. I've got my bearing, and that's going to slide in from the bottom. Let's start with that. All right, more grease. All right, so now our top bearing is in. All right, this slips in from the bottom. We put this piece on here to kind of keep it on nice and tight. That goes on there, and that, that is nice. Okay, let's hold that there for a minute and bring down that guy. And that's what she's gonna look like. All right, so the fork is in place. I wouldn't say installed, but in place, all right? That's nice, look at that. It's been a nice, I still think that if I did some more work on this bike, I'd probably go and buy a new headset, but you know, we're, we're kind of tight on funds right now. Okay, so here's our headset. I'm gonna mark where I wanna cut this bad boy. Like I said, I'm gonna go kinda high. I can always cut it again. All right, there's my mark. I am deliberately going high, I know that. I'm going high. Uh, I can make adjustments later on, but I don't, wanna, I don't wanna ruin this thing. Let's go into the garage and I'm gonna show you how to cut this thing. Okay, we're in the garage and we're gonna cut the fork. To do that, we're gonna use two tools. This is a Park, um, uh, what is it, is it a SG6? I don't know, it's used to cut uh, forks, C-tubes, I've used it for forks, C-tubes, um, handlebars, so look, there's some parts, tools that I think you should have and some that I think, you know, like the headset press, you know, it's up to you. This is one you should have. And let me tell you why. You use this to cut, like I said, your fork, your seat tubes down, and what you'll probably do more than any other time is your handlebars. Now you can go and take a hacksaw out, which is what I'm gonna use here, and just hack the hell out of these things, but I just wouldn't. This is a great tool and I use it often anytime I'm making any fine tuning fine and adjustments. It's something I wouldn't, wouldn't think would be bad to have in your toolbox. So let's get started. Right here is our mark. That's where I'm gonna cut. So what I'm gonna do, I, I'm loosening this to slide it down. All right, I've, I've got it in place. Now here's how these things work. You put this end in a vise. So now your fork is well supported, okay? And you're gonna cut down there, and we're gonna cut this baby. So let's go and cut.
All right, that's that. I mean, right? Come on. Tell me how nice that, that really worked out really well. We've got a nice clean cut. So all I'll do now is I'll clean off the burrs, maybe get a file and touch it up a little bit, and then we're gonna go and install this. All right, folks, we are so close, but we're not done yet. This is called a star washer, and this is going to go inside of the steerer tube of the fork, and you use this to actually uh, put the fork on the bike, compress the headset and the stem down. Uh, better for me just to do it and show you how it works than try to explain it anymore because I don't think I'm really doing that good a job of it. Okay, this tool here is called the star nut punch. All right, you slide this part over, over the fork. You slide your star nut in. Notice how it's gonna go this way with the, uh, the ends going kind of up. This goes like that. This goes and slides on this like that. Kind of locks in and then you go and you, you smack that sucker. Okay, we'll do that now. And that'll set that inside the steerer tube. And there is our star nut set inside of the steer tube. All right, folks, we've got the headset in. We've got uh, everything ready to go. Let's go put this fork in place. Okay, so now let's, let's do it. Let's put this bottom one back in. All right. A little bit of love in there again. I'm sorry, I'm just a little overly cautious. It's all just going to kind of roll inside the bearings anyway fork, got my um, stem, got my uh, Allen key, and I've got the actual screw that came with the, um, the star nut. So let's put this together. All right, so now notice all the space over here, okay? What are we gonna do about that? That's where the headset spacers come in. I could put them on the top, or I could put them on the bottom, or I could put them in between, which is what I'm probably gonna end up doing. So let's go take some out and fill in the gaps. Can you see the gaps there? Let's go and get the headset spacers and put them in. Now I picked up a whole bunch of these. Doesn't hurt to have these on hand, okay? Bigger ones, smaller ones, whatever. Just gotta, you know, find out what's gonna fit. All right, that's gonna work nicely. That's gonna go on like that. I don't need these right now. I'm sure I'm gonna adjust this later on. I have no doubt that I'm gonna be adjusting this later on. But right now, I just wanna get this in there. I'd like to move on to the next step. All right, folks, look at that. A little bumpy along the way, but we did this. So now, understand what's going on here. This is not meant to be cranked down super, super, super tight. You don't crank it down super tight. You just get it to compress. These bolts right here are the ones that you use to kind of lock this whole thing into place. So I'm just gonna get it into a good spot, loosen it up a little bit, and then I will just um, tighten it down. and kind of call it a day because it's, like I said, I'm not, I'm not riding it yet. I just want it in place so I can move on to the next step. We did it, that's not that bad, all right? There's our fork, it's installed, all right? And it's looking pretty good. The next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna install the, um, as you can see it over here, we're gonna install the bottom bracket, okay? We've got this installed, this looks good. I don't want the handlebars on yet because they're gonna be hitting me in the head the whole time, all right? So we'll install the bottom bracket and then we'll move on from there. So stay tuned.